Welcome back. As promised, Salvation Army is here. Tom Heinzman, thank you for joining us. Nice to be here. Thanks. Doug Alexander, you are board member and quite a volunteer for Salvation Army and a lot of other places. So we'll One talk, of many. We'll talk about that <laughs> in a minute. Thanks for joining us. Um, you and the previous guests touch a lot of people over the holidays. And between November and December, share some of the things that you've got going on to help those in our community that need some help. Yeah, right now we're doing our Christmas signups and uh, we have uh, hundreds of families coming into our building uh, signing up for the Christmas holiday season so mm -hmm. that we can get their, their children signed up for uh, toys and mm -hmm. uh, get the family signed up for some food. Mm -hmm. And uh, last year we helped over 5,000 children with uh, new toys. Oh my and gosh. And then uh, besides all the toys that we provide for all those children, uh, we give the family uh, a food angel card, which is from Kroger. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're able to provide the family with some food for the holiday season as well. It's funny in this town, just by how we normally live, we are provided so many opportunities to, in, in the course of how we live, pick, pick up a card at Kroger, buy it, and help the family. Yeah, and this community is a very giving community. Uh, we've, mm -hmm. we've found that uh, every year, this time of year, uh, that people will come out and they want to support uh, the different agencies that are doing different things mm -hmm. and uh, you've got the fire department doing toy drive as well mm -hmm. and so you've got all these different agencies and Ginny Ramsey and her group and, and of course the Salvation Army um, and we all do our own part mm -hmm. so that we can maybe help all the families. Absolutely. Yeah. The bad news is the need always exceeds yeah. the ability all of us yeah. have yep. to serve people. Yep. So that's why it's so important this time of year why we need volunteers. Mm -hmm. The Army needs volunteers. Mm -hmm. Jenny needs volunteers. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and your contributions of money, of, of, of toys, you know, whatever it is you can give because the need is so great. Let's go through them and then we'll go through the programs that you have. How can people volunteer for the many things Salvation Army provides. So they can call our office at 859-252-7706 mm -hmm. and uh, they can offer to come and volunteer and uh, they can volunteer by coming to the Christmas site. Uh, they can help us get the toys sorted and, mm -hmm. and packaged up for the families. Mm -hmm. um, they can also volunteer on Thanksgiving Day mm -hmm. uh, to serve a hot meal mm -hmm. uh, and we also do over 200 home visits that day to deliver a hot mm. meal. Mm. Uh, and then the same thing on Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. we, we serve a hot meal on Christmas Day. And uh, so we'll serve over 650 uh, individuals on Thanksgiving Day and typically over 800 on Christmas Day. Let's not forget the easiest, most fun volunteer activity of the mm -hmm. season is ringing a bell. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. at, yeah. a, at a red kettle. Yeah. Easy. Everybody can do it. You can organize your friends, your family, your church groups. Mm -hmm. uh, just call the Army, get a day. You're basically adopting a day or a week or whatever you want. And it's good to do in pairs, again, soccer teams, mm -hmm. um, kids groups, church groups. What's your website, Tom? Uh, our website is SalvationArmyLex.org. Okay. So SalvationArmyLex.org. And you have all the events on there and they can, people can pick and choose and how many spots are, are open and maybe what shift that they can do for the bell ringing? Yeah, all that information is on the website okay. and they can sign up through the website. They can call our office to sign up. Um, there's all kinds of different ways uh, for people to get active. 252-7706. I know that <laughs> from calling it years ago. So you need volunteers. Mm -hmm. You accept donations. And can people make donations online as well? Don't you have an electronic? Bucket. Yes. Yeah, so the, the, there's okay. an online kettle, kettle. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, which is actually getting to be a, a bigger yeah. part and, and it's, of it's, it's, the whole yeah, it'll never diminish. Yeah. season mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. yes. And so, that's a great way for people to do their part as well. So for instance, if every person in Lexington decided they wanted to do an online kettle, uh, they could mm. ask their family and friends to donate to their kettle. So they could set up a kettle? Yes a thematic kettle mm -hmm. and then from around the country absolutely people can make donations they can okay. mm -hmm. and correct me if I'm wrong major but to show you just how generous this community is for the last couple of years mm -hmm. we have been we in our service area which is Scott Jessamine and Fayette County have had the second 
largest online kettle in America. We get beat by a radio station in Chicago mm -hmm. where the DJ in the morning, all through the, the Christmas season, every morning broadcasts, broadcasts all day about their kettle. They have won the last few years, but this community has been second. That yeah. is amazing. Volunteers, mm -hmm. money, donations. Let's talk about the programs that you have that are crucial to impacting our community, starting with the month of November and then we'll go into December. Yeah, so as we're, as we're getting through November, we're already uh, gearing up for the Thanksgiving meal. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's our biggest program for, for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've already scheduled everything uh, for the families to be ready and we, uh, we have volunteers lined up uh, to serve that meal. Uh, and, and because we've been working on Christmas now for several months, uh, we're gearing up for our uh, Angel Tree program. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that will begin in November. Mm -hmm. And that begins uh, the week before Thanksgiving mm -hmm. at the mall. Mm -hmm. And people can come out to the mall location and they can select a child's name. And uh, it'll have the child's name on there, uh, their age, and some gift ideas that that family has asked for. And then of course the person doing the shopping can uh, pick a child that maybe is close to their own children's mm -hmm. age uh, and then do something with the family. Mm -hmm. uh, so again, we helped over 5,000 children doing that system last year and so we know that that's gonna happen again this year. So Tom, they take, take the name mm -hmm. or names, they can shop at the mall, yep. buy the gifts, and then bring them back or do they deliver them someplace else? So they can deliver them back to the mall at the same location mm -hmm. that they take the tag, mm -hmm. or they can drop them off at the Salvation Army on Main Street, mm -hmm. uh, or on uh, December 3rd, we'll be opening up our, our site, uh, our distribution site, and it's gonna be right across the street from the mall, uh, and the, the location was it's the- the Crossroads Shopping Center. Yes. Oh yeah. At yeah, the corner right. of- um, Reynolds Matt, Road of and Nicholas Hill Road. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, is there a vacant store there that it's being? It's it's where Fresh yes. Time was Fresh located. Time. Oh, was perfect. The name of it. Yeah. Fresh Time. Yeah. And I will say that when the Angel Tree happens, not good to take a tag and don't bring it back. No, and sometimes That's not that good. happens. That breaks your heart. Yeah, and we keep a record of who's taken what tag, mm -hmm. and so we'll try to follow up with them. But you can imagine when we're talking thousands of children. Um, that we get down to the very wire sometimes mm -hmm. and we realize that maybe that gift's not going to come in and then we're scrambling yes. uh, to try to make that, uh, to, just to try to meet that need uh, before December 19th. So here's a family that they reach out for some assistance, mm -hmm. they give some of their children's names and then the tag's not turned in. That would be horrifying to me. Yeah, and so we work hard to be sure that no child's left behind. Mm -hmm. um, and like Jenny had mentioned earlier, that we, we all try to, to meet the needs of all the children in the community, but we know there must be children that are mm -hmm. being missed. And so anybody who's listening to us even tonight, um, I would hope that if they know of a family, that they would at least check up on them to see if those children are gonna be receiving something for the holiday season. Because like you said, uh, nobody wants to wake up on Christmas morning oh. and uh, realize that their children didn't have gifts. I remember one mother saying to me uh, one year, she came in to support us, and she said to me, I didn't know at the time that I could bring my children's names to the Salvation Army for assistance. So that year I bought Little Debbie cakes and I wrapped them individually mm. for my kids for Christmas mm. Day. And it broke my heart to think mm. that that's what her children received mm. for Christmas Day. But mm. then she found that we had this remarkable program and she wanted to support it because mm. she knew what, what it was like when her children didn't have anything. Any donation that anybody wants to make is great. Yeah. Anytime they go online and do something, that's great. Drop money in the kettle. But when they can see the people they serve and your Thanksgiving meal and your Christmas meal, when these people in our community that we might pass on the street, they might be on a corner asking for money. When we get to serve them, and there are a lot of kids yeah. that help as well. Any age limits for the kids that volunteer on Thanksgiving and Christmas? No, so the age, we, we really don't set a limit as long as the parents are with the children. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, we have some kids that have been coming. One, one little girl said last year uh, that she's been doing this since she was a little girl. Now, she's only 10 now. So, uh, <laughs> but she's been doing this, she said, pretty much her whole life. Isn't that great? Yeah, yeah. it is. It, it becomes a family tradition. And uh, to see the families uh, activate themselves like that and to be part of uh, giving in that uh, essence is just really a beautiful thing. We are all blessed to have the lives that we have. Yeah. And f however people choose to live their lives is up to them. But to leave the home on Thanksgiving or Christmas and go help somebody else, what better feeling could you have over a holiday than that? You're kind of quiet over there, Doug. What have we missed? You're taking this all in. We've talked about Thanksgiving, Angel Tree, Christmas. What have we missed? Well, we haven't talked about our annual Christmas breakfast. Oh, mm -hmm. good. Which is November 16th, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. where we... Um, um, Have fun. <laughs> honor. Uh, huh? Some call it a roast. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm pushing the, the term troast uh, because it's, it's often a toast oh, okay. more okay. than a roast. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. yeah. To some uh, deserving uh, member of our community. Yes. Uh, it's a great, it's the kickoff to our kettle campaign. Okay. And it's a great uh, opportunity uh, to uh, be with other people in the community, get to get the, the season started. That's a fun uh, activity. It, the, the, the breakfast is, is great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, and again, you can call uh, the Salvation Army for tickets, 252-7706. And where's the breakfast going to be this year? It's going to be at the Hilton downtown. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eight o'clock. Eight, Eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Uh, and it will sell out mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. people need to uh, let us know in advance $75 a ticket uh, mm -hmm. $750 for a table of 10 uh, so bring bring the folks in your office and this, table. this is a big deal some of your previous yeah. people that have been celebrated are trusted hey, hey share <laughs> some of the names oh gosh Jack Patty John Calipari mm -hmm. uh, Myra Ball uh, Luther Deaton uh, okay, help me, Major. Oh, you're uh, doing really good. Uh, Most of those Matthew are Mitchell, my time. Yeah, Matthew Mitchell. Um, right. Alan Stein yeah. mm -hmm. was yeah. our first. Terry McBrayer. Terry McBrayer. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, uh, Elmer Whitaker. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm getting close to naming all of them. This is about our eighth or ninth year. Or I was thinking 13th year. Is it 13th? 13th so year. you really go across the county, the city, and find really good people who are willing to sit up there and have a little bit of fun with some Well, and of the that people. person is also the honorary chair of the Kettle Campaign. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they 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 get to sit there and be the brunt of, of some levity, but they also help us uh, spread the word throughout the community, you know, that the kettles are out and, and the importance of the campaign. In the last minute you mentioned five thousand children were touched over the course of the year what's the number of people that you impact in Lexington? Uh, that number uh, is over 60,000 uh, throughout the year. We served 186,000 meals last year just in our shelter alone. Mm -hmm. um, and those numbers keep rising. Mm -hmm. I did a tour today of some folks that came in to, to see our program in action. And, and we offer those tours really anytime somebody wants to come and see our program in action. Uh, but showing them the 186 bed shelter that we have, and that those those beds are are uh, taken up every night, and we have over 60 children in our in our shelter mm. uh, at any given time, um, and it's it's difficult to meet those needs. And we're yeah. living in an older facility, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, and we have issues in our building uh, with plumbing problems and sure. all kinds of pro problems. But uh, but we do the very best that we can, and and we. You know, count on the community to support us and to get behind us because without that shelter, where would those 186 uh, people go every night? You wanted to say something. Yes. Uh, we, we talk about the shelter. We also operate an early learning center. We mm -hmm. uh, operate the Boys and Girls Club in Lexington. We have a uh, medical clinic that's mm -hmm. open uh, Tuesday nights and Saturdays. It's free to anyone Thursdays. in the community. Mm -hmm. Your contribution not only supports our Christmas activities, our Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and Christmas activities with toys and food, but it supports those programs year round. And as the major said, that shelter 
is critical to this community. It is full, unfortunately, year round. Yeah. One, one last website uh, announcement and then we'll close out. Yeah, it's SalvationArmyLex.org. It does not energize me. We have this concern and need in Lexington. What energizes me is we have people like you mm -hmm. that drive people to be served. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Paul Chartier. Go to their website, get involved. It'll make your holiday. See you next time on Heart of Gold. Mm -hmm.